All right, so I've, I've outputted a GIF and it works. Um, I've opened it with a browser and the timing works out pretty well. If anything, maybe it's a little fast. I'm happy with the head popping off and the resetting, but what I'm not so happy with now looking at the whole thing is how quickly things start to happen. I'd like to have the sun take longer to come in and just have him drinking some more. So you can just take it in before the zoom happens and the color change happens and all of that. So in order to do that, this is a pain, but this is why we set it up the way we did with assets. Um, it's not that difficult to build frames before. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is go to my stage and take all of these different frames that I've made right, that make up the animation that I want. And I'm going to move them all to the trash. Instead of trying to create it within the frames, I'm going to go back to my assets. and think clearly about what that first frame was. So I'm going to rebuild my first frame. And I can use, use my stage as reference. Ah. Asking a lot of Photoshop here. So far, so good. So there's my very first frame. The eye is open. The mouth is closed. And what I'm going to do is start working, walking it backwards. So I actually already have a sun that's that's one back. So now I'm just going in reverse. <coughs> I'm not going to change the body at all. From the very first body. Which is there. Oh, actually, maybe it's an opportunity. Let's see. Yeah, because I built all these assets of the body. As long as they don't have the effects on them. See how I have the effects turned off. Yeah, I could use I could use some of these. So I'm going to go through these different postures of the body, but with the effects turned off at the beginning of my animation. Kind of walk these backwards. Okay, so start with this. Come on. Start with that. Go to this. Going backwards. Let me save that. down option layer merge visible copy it and I'm going to paste it on top of the the last thing I've done <laughs> uh -uh, let's see Gonna go in my history before I image sized it. There we go. I'm glad I checked that. So I want to keep my PSD always with the high image size. Get rid of all these frames. All 24. Go to my very top frame. Paste this in. Okay. Now go back, see how the sun's up higher. <coughs> and I'll move them down below afterwards. Deselect. But I need to create some new assets, I just need to move the sun. 
each time. Change the texture. I'm just going to do it in a straight cycle. Change the head just very simply. To that head now. Now to this body without the effects. And hopefully it's going to make him look like he's breathing. And here I need to create a new asset. I need to create the sun even higher up. Really off the frame would be perfect. Like so. Okay. And bring that over. Hold that option. Layer merge visible. Command C, copy. Paste it in going on top, but they're going to play backwards. Okay. The body movement might be a little much, but I'm willing to, to risk it, just to use what I've already made. Change the texture fill. Go to the head down all the way, but let's Close the eye completely. Let's open the mouth a little more. Let's move down to this body. No, that's too much. Let's just toggle back and forth a little bit. Well, let's see that one, or I don't want them too swollen. There's a good one. Turn the effects off there. Yeah. And then the sun, duplicate, push off even more. But even though you don't see it in the frame, it's still affecting the sky, that little blue. So that's important. Hold the option, layer, merge visible. Copy, paste. Okay, I think one more will do it. This will be kind of how I enter into the frame. So that we meet the creature already drinking. And he kind of introduces himself by lifting his head. And let's see, let's close his mouth. No, not that one. Make sure I don't have multiple heads <laughs> turned on. All right, so now's a good time to test the animation out. Let me bring this one over. Maybe make one more body. And then that should extend the time in the beginning of the animation when he's just drinking. Yeah, 
Let's paste that over. Okay. Uh, one more. One more without the sun at all. <coughs> I'm going to work backwards here. Just take the sun completely out. Go to the original body. Without effects. And go to... Let's see. And guess this. But with the eyes open. Okay. So extending kind of that, that beginning moment. But without the sun in the sky. Now option, layer merge visible, while holding down option, copy, paste. Okay, so now this is where it gets a little tricky. I want to look at my layers, and I'm going to look where the sun is. And instead of um, trying to figure it out here, I'm going to do it within my timeline and my frame. So I make frames from layers, and they're going to be a little out of order at the end. So we're going to see, I'll start playing it from here. Oh, I need to set some timing. <laughs> Otherwise, it's way too fast. So I'm going to use other and then point three. Okay, so I want to start with this one, then I want to move this one after it, then I want to move this one after that, then I want to move this one after that, I want to move this one after that. That's what I like about these frame by frames. We can play through and make sure they make sense. See which ones we need and don't need. I don't think I actually need this one. Or maybe it's at the very end. No, it can't be at the very end. Because the sun's gone. Yeah, so let's take that one out. Not the layer, but just the frame. Yeah, so I don't need this one either. Okay, so now where do I want it to start? I want it to start right here. I'm going to take these four frames, move them all the way to the beginning for number one. Mm. It almost works. 